Are you struggling with sleep and find yourself getting physically anxious as bedtime approaches? This is called sleep anxiety and it is 100% curable with work and practice. I suffered with sleep anxiety for over a year, and I was able to get back to sleep by dealing with the root of the problem. Sleep anxiety usually begins when you have a period, usually weeks or more, where you have trouble falling or staying asleep. When this happens, your brain starts to see bedtime as a threat and tries to solve the problem. Even though your brain is trying to help you by making you problem solve, it often has the opposite effect and you end up more alert, anxious and unable to fall asleep. The key to breaking this cycle is to change your relationship with the thoughts and remove the emotional component that is keeping you awake. As soon as you start to have the worries and anxious feelings about sleep, you immediately tell yourself that you should not be having these feelings. This is actually the problem. The brain says, aha. These thoughts and sensations are the enemy and we must fix them or else. Then the body responds, often with physical anxiety symptoms because it feels dangerous. Before you know it, you're caught in this anxiety loop that just feeds on itself. Always remember, your body has never forgotten how to sleep. It craves it and wants to rest. However, when you have anxiety or looping thoughts and worries, the chemicals produced, such as adrenaline and cortisol excite the brain and body so you cannot rest. That's why none of the sleep hygiene tips seem to work. Anxiety overpowers them. So, in order to sleep, you have to learn to make peace with the uncomfortable thoughts and sensations that are causing the anxiety cycle. You have to stop seeing them as the enemy. Thoughts are just thoughts. They aren't dangerous. It's the worries and uncomfortable feelings the thoughts create that actually keep you stressed and awake. It's very important to understand that you don't actually have a sleep problem. You have an anxiety problem that is affecting sleep. Big difference. Anxiety is the real problem. If anxiety was not present, you'd sleep just fine. Instead of seeing the anxiety sensations or thoughts about sleep as bad or wrong, just look at them as something that is happening now. Watch the thoughts like a movie without reacting to them. This is going to take practice, but it's the key to curing your anxiety about sleep. So when you get in bed and the thoughts or anxiety begins to ramp up, take a deep breath and say to yourself, okay, the worries are starting to come up. I just caught myself wondering how long before I fall asleep. I can feel my body reacting to the thoughts. My heart rate has picked up a bit, but it's okay. It won't last. I'm not going to react to the thoughts this time. I'm just going to watch what my mind does. Let's see what else it's going to say to me. Your brain will keep trying to tell you that you are in danger, but stay present. Tell yourself, my brain is doing that thing again. It's trying to worry and create these stories that scare me, but they are just thoughts. I'm safe. Just because I'm thinking these things doesn't mean they will happen. What you're doing here is practicing mindfulness and presence. You're not allowing the emotions of the thoughts to take over, which is what normally happens when you get stuck in an anxiety loop. That's very different than going, oh no, here I go again. I'm never going to be able to sleep with these thoughts. Instead, you're just staying neutral and watching what your brain is doing as if you're watching another person's thoughts. There's no attachment to them. It's almost as if you are narrating a movie. It's going to feel strange at first, and your brain will keep trying to worry but keep going back to mindfulness and narrating exactly what your mind is doing. This is the practice of mindfulness. The more you do it, the harder it will be for your brain to go back to the worry habit. The first couple of times you do it, you may not notice much difference, but if you keep doing it, you will notice that you'll stop the looping thoughts faster. The anxious feelings may be strong at first, but should also dissipate the more you do this. Always remember, sleep is not your problem. Anxiety is the real culprit. Even though you may have had another reason for the initial sleep problem, the thoughts about not sleeping have now taken over as the primary issue. There is nothing wrong with your body's ability to sleep, no matter what you may think. Address the underlying thoughts and anxiety. That's the key to getting back to sleep. I wish you well and many restful nights.